you all of you. Am I doing this? It's been a lot of uh, good uh, insights we had from Guru Raj and uh, other members in Canon and everybody. This was very nice. So what I'm going to talk today over here is, you know, what we're doing at Dell and uh, what's happening and what's changing around us. And uh, as we sit into this IT landscape and we all are a part of it and, and many of us uh, uh, are either involved into uh, using IT in some way or are involved into uh, selling and servicing our customers. So from our standpoint, I mean, you know, uh, we look at Dell today and when we talk at Dell, we talk ourselves as a, one of the largest uh, uh, startup, we call it. Uh, you know, at $25 billion when you purchase a company, so it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a biggest startup, we call ourselves over here today. And what's What's happened and why do we do that and what, uh, what was the uh, important and uh, important reason to delist a company and bring, uh, and, and bring, make it a private company. In IT, what was, what's been important is always is the innovation which has been, uh, which has been always talked about and how you kind of continuously innovate because uh, the staleness is something which comes very fast over here. So important over here was was to see that how we innovate and when you are a listed company you are constantly monitored quarterly basis by analyst and uh, you know how you profit and how your growth is being delivered but that's that kind of becomes an hindrance on how you're going to invest into an R&D how you kind to go into spaces which are uh, which is ahead next 10 years IT is going to look like so a lot has been said and you know a lot was being said that time and, you know PC is going to die and uh, that's not going to be the it's not going to be the world around. So what we saw around was that, you know, two important things emerged that time. And last uh, 10 years, what we saw was the biggest thing which we say seen is outsourcing, which was being talked about. And that became a big thing. Today you see about digitization being talked. Today you see about infrastructure again getting developed. Uh, telecom and outsourcing were the two important things which was being talked. Telecom and was anyway growing and was, uh, uh, was one of the verticals which was but was in IT the outsourcing and the servicing business you see in any biggest competitor uh, was everybody was out to invest over there and somewhere I think Guru Raja somebody was talking about how we became the biggest IT outsourcing hub but uh, is it continues? Answer is yes. Will it continue? Answer is it's, in the, it's a big question mark these days. So why? I mean it is, uh, we hear today new things, you know, we hear today things like SMAC today. We think, we hear things like Internet of Things. What are these things going to change and how is life going to change around us? So impact of these things, we start seeing the consolidation which started begin, we started to begin. A lot of people decided to exit out of the business. There is, a, you see a lot of vendors like Sony said getting off of this business. Uh, Indian uh, manufacturers like uh, HCL Wipro quitting this business. We saw IBM selling its uh, server business to Lenovo. We saw, uh, you know, uh, 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 you know, uh, one of these uh, uh, IBM was uh, IBM decided to uh, get out of some of the countries and uh, was so you know like that you see lots of consolidation moves start to happen in outsourcing was because of this that you know, was outsourcing changing the directions answer is yes because all these companies and all which was into the outsourcing and were using this, they have started moving on to the internet of things. Outsourcing became, servicing businesses started becoming more resort oriented, it became output source, out, output source services, service business. So if you are, what kind of output is being given, based on that the revenues are being, are being calculated. That's how every single client started uh, negotiating the contracts. So this has always been changing around us. and. Thing is, which is emerging is SMAC, which we say, and Internet of Things, which is which is the new thing which are we all talking, and uh, social media, cloud analytics is everybody single person talks. People say that, you know everything we have industry which is talking about cloud is going to bring a revolution. Answer is yes, the cloud is going to change things, but how is going to monetize? It's a very diff difficult thing for the companies to see today. The revenues cannot overnight change. You cannot have analytics that you know you're not going to you're going to invest it and the, your analysts uh, you're going to draw so there are the big question marks over there so how is cloud going to grow the massification of one of the technologies which is going to happen 
is happening with social media is one of the things which you, you all continuously you see it. But wasn't this existing what five or six years back? We always saw six years back Gmail and everybody was using Hotmails and other things, right? So the only thing what's changing over here is that, you know, businesses are getting to benefit through the social media. We see big advertising revenues which are, which are to the tune of, you know, almost like 30 to 40 billion of few of the companies which just come from this. Yes, that's where the big change is going, big, big change is happening. Cloud, which is going to help what in, in biggest thing can help is that, you know, when we see software as services or infrastructure as services, yes, that is going to help bring down CapEx investments, which we heard a little while back that, you know, how manufacturing was a capital intensive one. And that is where, where we are going to see that, you know, CapExes are going to come down and lots of people can share the same thing and use it. But yes, if that happens, the infrastructure is something which is required in this process. So setting up a cloud, setting up a social media, or setting up a, anything which is coming on the big data, everything is going to work on something engine behind, and that is the big server, big storage, security, the biggest thing, networking, the another thing. So that's what that's what is that's what is something which is going to just focus in coming time, and that's what you see. That's where we kind of come in and be at a Dell thought that, you know, we have 28 odd companies into the uh, different fields in software and networking. And to see that, you know, we bring the complete package uh, offering to the customers for whatever they are going for, anything like which is uh, on cloud, big data, or uh, analytics. So this is where infrastructure is going to play a biggest role. Because what you even see and you know, one is the high-end infrastructure when I talk about servers, when I talk about, uh, you know, um, networking or storage or the big, big, big data. I mean, I saw some, we were talking about scanners and all those things coming. At the end of the day, there's something which is storage which is required and it's got to get stored somewhere. Whether it's on the cloud, whether it's on to your server, which is on-premise server which you have it. So infrastructure is a big need. So that's a one need which we carry. Another need which we feel is that, you know, this whole of every single person is, a, in our opinion, is about three in life, we call it. So, you know, every person is having three screens in his life and one is, we call it, we all have mobiles, second is laptop and the third is, third is your television at your home. Every house, every member would have these three screens in coming time as it today and will continue to have it in two decades. So that is where the growth is going to happen. So infrastructure, when I, sorry, when I say about the three screens, that is where it comes this device. So you got to use these three devices to access cloud. Any, any data, anything, or any accessibility which you, which you make it on the cloud. So you have, an, you have a front device which is going to help you access data, or you got to reach into working something on the cloud which data is residing there. And cloud data, cloud you can use only if you have a backend big infrastructure. And that servers networking in security. So this is a combination of what we bring together at Dell to see that, you know, we ensure and we service every single need in infrastructure space and space for consumer and large corporates and the medium-sized <coughs> industries. So that's, the, that's our vision and that's what we think is going to happen and that's what, that's what is actually happening. The most important thing in this is, in this changing time, when we say what's the biggest change going to happen and what's the biggest fear factor. These are the two things. Every change brings a fear. And the fear is about security. So security is going to be the one of the biggest uh, areas, whether with the government, whether with any corporate, whether with one of us, whether we're using the social media, security is the biggest issue. Today, today that's something which can kind of, kind of completely ruin you and uh, the disasters to your business. How do we ensure that, you know, in our, uh, in our uh, businesses, when bringing all this, when we are talking about clouds, is moving on to some data center or the other. So how does the DR work? Now, this is something which is super important. Now, we can kind of go and see that how is this, uh, wherever you posted an application, what kind of a, how, how great is the DR, DR story with that data center? Now, DR has about levels. 
where you can bring different kind of a security levels in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a data center. That kind of a data center preparation and how you create that kind of a data centers is something again we kind of companies like us pitch in. And we kind of want to excel over there where data will reside. Whether you see in RBI, or you see the India's largest or the Asia's largest bank called SBI, this is all outsourced data. It's all data, data is lying in the data center. Now that's security super important. And that's managed by one of our one of the IT companies, right? But that IT our outsourced partner which manages it, that servers, that security system is built by the infrastructure providers like us. And that is where Dell wants to come in and pitch in and ensure that you know we give a secure data center and secured software services and a data resides for all customers and the you know mass which uses social media activity this is what is going to be the most important thing from hands on next thing is all going to happen and change on that when i was hearing on the uh, guru raj vital thing with the new city which is coming up it is a it's, it's a beautiful city he talks about and what's it all it's all completely going to be enabled and the secured structure which are they going to create it where, where every single thing is provided i mean guy can come and start his office next day that means there is a there is a there is a good amount of it hardware infrastructure created there and they are enabled offices it enabled offices so so these this, these are the things which are going to be dramatically changing and when everyone is going to go and set up things like this or when we see prime minister talking about making india story which is land very shortly globally tomorrow morning and day after it is, it is all news manufacturing of new system which is going to come up is all which requires a big it infrastructure and it infrastructure and to add to most secure it infrastructure now that's which is going to be super important. and the third is the storage which is going to play a biggest role the secured storage these are some of the things which we feel are going to be changing completely. We thought that only we, 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 most of the IT in the last uh, decade or so has talked about services and how service you, how you build businesses in services, which is super important. But where does this NVT businesses get built on? It get built on this infrastructure. All clouds which you we will see coming up, it will be largely into the corporate clouds would be private clouds or private clouds is what you're going to see because that's where banking system and everybody is going to work largely on private to ensure that you know they are not on the public domain because that's where they want to ensure that the data resides with them and when the data resides with them it's important to show, ensure that you know it's their customer data and the customer data has to be secure data and secure data needs a proper good data center which which you can which you can keep hosting applications and cloud. So I think that's what is biggest change which is you going to experience in the next decade or so. And that's what where Dell comes in and we the company are trying to ensure that we're putting enough of money into the innovation and R&D to ensure that we have the right products where we cater down to the good infrastructure in coming times. So I think that's, uh, <clears throat> that, that's what I want to share my uh, thoughts and uh, on behalf of Dell that what we see and how do we see this landscape changing and the consolidation which has happened will only those players will remain which will invest into R&D and will invest into creating and bring a niche through you know and niche mean means is expertise whatever you are delivering you got to be master in that you cannot be another player because that's not going to distinguish you and that's not going to take your company to the next level I think these are some of the things and um, last but the important thing which I want to mention the partners which are here at Dell what we kind of has changed time. Dell has been known as a direct company from a partner perspective but it is only in last uh, six months what we launched in the, when we began this year uh, we launched uh, uh, the pro we launched a new GTM we said that we would change the way we operate in this India market and globally. This was what post privatization because we could do this change. And we said we're going to work with partners, and this is partners are going to fuel the, uh, the, the growth and are going to give us the coverage and revenue, which we haven't been doing before for our good reasons. We have 
grown with that too, or they with that model. But from here we have the next big leap we feel, and that leap is going to when we do deal and work with the system integrators and partners. So that's the one biggest change which has happened and, uh, that we have talked in many forums and I would invite any partners, any, P, any companies when we would like to engage in a deeper way and see how they can bring value together. We can bring value to them and they can bring value to the business and to the customer. We, we are, we, that, that's, that's our strategy and that's we're going to be working hands on. So I think these are two things to broadly tell how world's changing, market's changing and what will happen and what Dell brings to the party. That was what I wanted to share with you today and uh, thank you very much. Around in case there are any questions, we can take it offline. Thank you very much.